Hi, I'm Ken Bianco Jr. and welcome to Train World TV. Today we have a very special guest, Smooth Train from Ather and Trains. And I thank you very much for coming here today. I do appreciate it, Shane. And uh, basically, we're going to talk Athern Trains. You know, you have a lot of great models coming out. And, you know, Athern is one of the biggest lines out there. Uh, HO Trains. If, if you're into HO, you know Athern. I mean, they're the best in the business. They got the premium line, Genesis, and also their ready-to-roll line. So no matter what price point you're looking at, they got something for you. Um, so Shane, just tell me a little what you got here today and tell the customers and the world out there what you're bringing. Well, Ken, thanks for that uh, warm welcome. I really <laughs> appreciate being here at Trainland. We've had a lot of fun tonight. Yes. And I want to talk to your viewers about a few things that we've got coming up that are pretty big for us. Sure. Uh, over by you, of course, is the modernized SD70 Ace. Right. And uh, several different versions there with the Caterpillar, the Yellow Ace. Um, that one, of course, is going to be the most popular. Yeah, I've noticed a ton of back orders on this particular item. What's so great? Why are people going crazy over this? Well, this one was really unique in the fact that a couple of years ago, um, when after Caterpillar bought EMD, they went to the Mine Expo in Las Vegas, and they literally took out a wall and laid railroad track into the building, dug a big hole and poured concrete yeah. to hold the locomotive. So it got a ton of press, got a ton of attention. Wow. And then Cat had a special train that they pulled around uh, cool. with a lot of their equipment. So it was used as a demonstrator unit. And uh, it's a one of a kind. There's only one uh, that was painted this way. And it's actually already been repainted for another railroad now. So Oh, wow. Uh, Very nice. Yeah, it's going to be one that's going to sell really well. And, of course, it's got the details that are specific to uh, that particular yellow SD70 Ace. Right. And one of the other things, too, while we're talking about SD70 Aces, sure. in the five that we, we just recently announced, uh, each one has details that are specific to each railroad. Um, if you look at, like, the Union Pacific, it has the, the PTC array antenna boxes on the roof. Right. Uh, you look at the Canadian National, it's going to have the dome antenna, the CN plow, the CN marker lights, right. and, then, of course, uh, the other, the NS, the yellow uh, demo unit and the blue demo unit. They even have little uh, details like the water sight glass on the uh, uh, fireman's side of the locomotive. So Very nice. We expect uh, these to sell out pretty quickly. One thing that we've done, and it's good for your customers to know, is we've really tightened up our uh, production quantities. Okay. So if folks are thinking that this might be something they want, uh, it would really be good if they got a hold of you and placed a pre-order because odds are we're going to sell out pretty quickly after these come in. Yeah, without a doubt. I mean, these units especially are very hot. Um, get your pre-orders in. We're taking back orders right now. And, uh, I mean, this is a, a killer. <laughs> I mean, gorgeous, gorgeous unit. And this blue is very nice as well. Um, everything's just so meticulous, beautiful details. Um, and so, so what else? Uh, I, I see you got little critters here, a ton of new product. So a couple things that are really worth pointing out. So the uh, SDP 45 was our. This is on the top shelf and right. in the the uh, Great Northern. That was our most requested locomotive we announced last year at really? Nationals in July. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, getting ready to ship in about, probably by mid-February you guys should have them okay, uh, here at the store. And all three road names got a little bit of extra availability, so if someone's kind of sitting on the fence, right. uh, probably a good time to, to get that order in with you. Okay, sounds good. And then, of course, uh, tank trains are, are coming yeah. uh, probably March-April time frame. This is hot. I mean, everybody is back ordering these. Um, just unbelievable, totally different. Now, for us, we're actually pretty much sold out on this release, but I know you guys have ordered some extra, so you've yeah. got some room to take some more additional orders on those as well. Oh, yeah, without a doububt. And then a couple other things we probably ought to point out. Um, you mentioned the critters. That's one that gets a lot of attention. A great little switching locomotive. It'll pull about uh, 18 to, I'm sorry, eight to 10 cars. Uh, it's going to be DCC ready, believe it or not, in that little small. How locomotive. can you fit a chip in that? Take an scale decoder. All and right. uh, a lot of weight to it. Great little locomotive, smooth runner, real good low speed. Very nice. And then, you gotta add these to your yard. Very nice. And then kind of coming over my direction a little bit, probably the one that we want to talk about the most is uh, the Union Pacific FES. Right. They yeah. I, I know actually our Brooklyn location just got them in, so we're going to be shipping them shortly. So the cool thing about this one, of course, we're doing 844, which still runs. Uh, on the Union Pacific as an ambassador for their railroad. Huh. And uh, so this was in the excursion version. And then we're also doing 8444, which we've never offered before. And that's in the Greyhound scheme, that pretty gray color right. with the yellow striping. Sure. And uh, UP ran that 
probably the late 90s uh, on some special excursion runs as well. And that's new for us that we've never done. And a few other versions, some coal versions, as well as some oil fires. And folks can get those now. And the cool thing is right above it is the DDA-40X. Right. So if you're buying an FEF, a lot of times the 6936 travels with that locomotive. So now you've got a pair that will work together for there you. There you go. All right. Very nice. All right, Gene. I thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. And um, I, now there's some rumors going on. You're going to make an announcement uh, at the Amherst show. Is this true or not? Absolutely. All right. So we've got, so we said the STP-45 was our biggest uh, uh, request. Right. This one is almost as large as that, and it's going to be a big one, and hopefully we can talk about it when you come to the show. You can't tell us now? No, if I told you, you know, it, it could be bad for you. So. Oh, Shane, you're killing me. Do you know what happened to Bobby Bacala? <laughs> yeah, I don't want that to happen to you. <laughs> All right, Shane. Well, I'll see you at the Amherst show. I'm going to be there, and hopefully we could get to show our audience uh, your sneak peek and uh, new announcement, because I know everybody's been talking on the forums about, about it, so I know it's going to be hot, and uh, you guys never disappoint. Um, and again, you could get all your Athern product at trainworld.com. We're taking back orders with pre-orders, and we've got some new items coming in. Athern is a great line to add to your collection. And again, Shane, thank you so much. I really do Thanks appreciate you coming out. Thank you.